Now let's talk about using a compressor to enhance the audio quality for your podcast. Let me show you a picture of this compressor that's on our digital audio mixer we've been using throughout this course. So there are two types of audio compression that we can use on our podcast. We can use our digital audio mixer for some basic compression so that we can make sure our voices don't peak, but we can also use a combination of compression, EQ, limiting, and gating inside our VST3 plugins to create a complete audio mixing chain that will deliver a clear, warm, and open audio. And that's something that is way beyond what we can do with a digital audio mixer and way beyond what most of us can do if we're not trained audio engineers. But the great thing is, is that VST3 plugins do all the heavy lifting. They're not too expensive. And in our next course, we're going to show you how to really do great VST3 plugin setups for your podcast. So today uh, we're just talking about some basic compression on your digital audio mixer to make sure that your, your audio doesn't peak. So you can see here that I'm going to go to each one of our channels and I'm going to go to the compressor limiter section. And when you need a compressor or a limiter, essentially you're creating a threshold for when you want the compressor to start. So I generally use negative, you know, one to five. So that's when we're getting close to that zero dB level, which is generally where we want the microphone not to go over. We don't want it to peak over that generally. Um, because that's like, that's where our noise gate is set. So, uh, what we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to set a threshold that we like. And as you can see here, I generally, uh, want the threshold to come somewhere in the neighborhood of, um, you know, one to five. And then we're going to set a attack and release just like we did with the noise gate so that it sounds natural when we, when we hit that peak that we hit, um, you know, the compressor. And again, the ratio is very similar. So if we go to a ratio of infinity, literally the audio cannot go over the threshold. If we have a ratio, we are decreasing the level of the audio for every dB. It goes over the threshold with a ratio of right here, 4.5. So this type of compression is really good for making sure that your audio levels do not peak. But again, we're going to use a higher more advanced level of compression that will really make your audio sound amazing when included with EQ limiting and gating in all, uh, all in one convenient VST3 plugin, which I'll show you in the next video. In fact, maybe I will just preview it here for you for a second here. Here is an example of a bass booster that uses compression and it has harmonics built in. And those harmonics really sound amazing. Um, here's another VST3 plugin that we'll use for compression that is going to have a, let's see, which one did I choose in this video? This is actually includes an EQ, includes compression, and a little bit of gain. So this is called the Renaissance Channel Stereo, and it also includes a preset specifically for voiceovers. And we can choose for whether we want to use a male or female. So we will look at that later. I just wanted to show you a basic compression just to make sure your audio levels do not peak before they get into our video production and audio software. So that's it for compression. That shows you how to use compression. We're just trying to make sure that our audio doesn't peak and it's a great tool for just, just a little gentle compression in our digital audio mixer and then leaving the advanced compression to the professionals at waves.com and VST3 plugins that we're going to use. See you in the next video.